Hello, my name is Christopher Scott, and I'm going to give you a brief video about how to use the Google Docs feature in Google to uh, create handouts and um, use them each week for small group studies. So I teach a New Believers class at our church, and then we go through systematic theology, just a basic uh, systematic theology for new believers. And so um, each week I provide them a nice little handout right here, and I create the kind of the master handout, and then each week we just change it slightly. Um, so this video shows you how to do that, how you can go in and change it. So what I did is I exited, I found my outline, so New Believer Studies. I went to the most recent one, Harma Theology. I open it, and then what I'm going to do as I go up here to file, I'm going to go make a copy, because I don't want to edit the one I've already got in there. I make a copy. We're going to do the series. It's a new series, so 6.2. And we're going to go into Soteriology. And the bodily resurrection of Christ is the topic. And um, I usually put the memory verse here, and I don't have one yet for this passage. So um, let's do Acts 1 3. We're going to go with that. Okay, so it's creating a copy now of that outline. And so I've got Soteriology 6.2. Um, so I'm just going to go through, I have my paper outline here next to my computer, and I'm just going to go through and make the changes. Uh, the big deal here, the main thing, is that everything is formatted for me. So all i got to do is delete a little bit and then replace it. So, so Soteriology, the bodily resurrection of Christ. And as you can see, I'm, not, I'm trying to keep the formatting, so I'm trying to delete right up to the beginning or at the end of the words. I don't want to erase the formatting by starting way over here, way over here. I want to start in the middle. The bodily resurrection. Christ, okay. Introduction. Uh, body. So we're talking about Christ's resurrection. So I'm going to go through here. Body, not ghost. And the passage here is Luke 24, 28 through 31, 32 through 37, 38 through 43. Okay. And so what I do in my outlines is uh, I usually like to give the scripture references and several references. And the references I want to make sure I read in group, I will put an asterisk in front of. So that gives me a little clue as a facilitator. Hey. Uh, I might have eight different scripture references here, but the one I want to make sure that we read and cover in the group has an asterisk. So that's why you'll see some is some are different. Um, so we're going to work through here, talk about proof of the resurrection. And then I do my, everything in here is already formatted. So um, once you create the, the, the master template, all you got to do is just follow the format. So see how the margins are bumped here? Um, just, you know, two sections and two sections. You don't really have to change much, just follow. So, proof of resurrection, Jesus appeared to, and we're going to go down here and we're going to do three bullet points, and there's a bullets inside of the more. So we're going to do three bullets, and we're going to move over the bullets right there. 500 people at one time. And that's one we're going to read. It's Corinthians 15, 5 through 6. James and all the apostles. 1 Corinthians 5-7. Um, and then Paul. 1 Corinthians 15, 8 through 9. This was actually 15, 7 up here. Okay? And this is bold. And I don't want to bold that third level. So the first level is bold and capitalized. The second level is bold um, and capitalize the first word of each title. 
And then the third level here, I don't bold and I don't really capitalize much. All right. And then here, letter B, we're going to talk about convincing beliefs. Acts 1, 3. And then we're going to go ahead and go, we're going to delete all this because we don't need it. for Christians here and talk about spiritually there's a resurrection spiritually so Romans 6 1 through 14 that's what we'll read there and then there's a resurrection physically Twenty. Um, I don't remember exactly where the it is in there, but that's okay. There's a twenty in there. And again, this is a handout to help orient the group. It's not you know a verse by verse exact exposition. It's just to get them in the text, learning and growing. So that's pretty much it. You see ease how easy it is to format there. We're going to delete this. That's another thing that I have. I uh, sometimes do will insert the passage there. But that's, uh, if I exit out of Chrome with this video recording, it might mess up our, our rec recording, so I don't want to do that. But uh, we're going to do this. We're going to change the conclusion applications, just like we did all the others. We're just deleting what's already there. So it's formatted for us. We just don't want to uh, really mess with it too much. The power... Oh, wait. Here we go. Christ's... That is important, but so is his resurrection. Okay. Christ's death is important, and so is his resurrection. And then I believe in and am comforted by the resurrection of the dead. Okay? Um, so that's the conclusion. There's one more point I want to make here. Um, so I'm going to do that briefly. I'm going to adjust this margin because the one from the previous one was incorrect. So we're going to adjust that. Um, so there's a Roman numeral. Um, we got Roman numeral. See, we got, this is where you got to check. One, two, three. This should be four. And then five, and we're gonna do make that six because I got one more point I want to make here. Um, so we're gonna add that. Roman numeral five. The meaning of Christ's resurrection is another one we're gonna look at. So now here I'm having to create another area. I probably should have done this a little differently. So the you can see the little um, margins up here. The flat one, left margin, is right there on the, the gray and the white. And then the other one is bumped over uh, to the dent, indent, 0.25. And we're going to just move that to 0.5. That's all you got to do. So the power of sin and death are broken. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now we're going to cruise through, look for any 
Um, errors, body not a ghost, proof of the resurrection, appeared to find convincing beliefs. Um, resurrection for Christians, there's a spiritual. After the, um, so after, I usually like to leave two spaces in between the sections, not necessarily between the main point and the sub point, but between sub points, if you can see that there. So I usually like to do that. And there's plenty of room on the page, so don't be hesitant, you know, don't hesitate to bump it on the next page if you have to. Um, so last but not least, we need to change the very bottom over here because I do a little um, bottom over here that helps cue me in on the last page where we at. So we are at Soteriology 6.2 and that is pretty much it. That's how you take an existing Google document, make a copy, and then edit it for your own use. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Hope you can use it for ministry. If you need a free way uh, that you can create handouts, share them with people, print them, edit them, uh, Google Docs is a great way to do that and it's really easy to edit them every week and it's a great way to have access to them no matter where you are uh, traveling or at home or at church and you need to, you know, you create them at home but you need to print them at church, that's fine too. So my name is Christopher Scott. I'm a small groups pastor of a church in California and and love using Google Docs. If there's any features of Google Docs you'd like to share or add, uh, you're welcome to leave a comment and I'd love to hear about them and uh, that way we can learn from each other. Hope you have a great day and hope to catch you in another video.